All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Rigor Tony. We're going to be going over a guide or a way to farm and when you can actually farm editing brushes. So as you can see on my last video, I had quite a few people say, how do you farm brushes, etc, etc, because I have basically re-rolled almost all of my accessories to plus 30% either SP, attack, or whatever else I needed, and I have about 1100 accessories not all of them are re-rolled all i have quite a few four stars that i just haven't gotten around to lately but basically 90 percent of all my accessories are re-rolled pretty much okay well obviously a very bad comparison but this one is used you know attack 30 percent etc etc so we're going to be going over a quick little video on where you can actually farm editing brushes so without further ado if you guys enjoy hit that like button subscribe on the way to 500 subs thank you very much and let's hop right on in all right, so I realized that I only showed the editing brush. Let me just show you with the super editing brush, just in case if you're curious. They're much more rare. I personally don't like them because you can only do one at a time, so I just never really try to use them unless I absolutely need to. What it does is it ensures a max three-star roll on anything. So whatever you want, it's always going to be a maximum roll. So 15% for full spiritual pressure, 15% for attack, 15% defense, and then 24% stamina, or is it 20? Either way, max one. There you go, just in case anybody was curious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so if you are not aware, you should 100% be pushing PvP or Brave Battles at least up until 7C and maintaining 7C or higher, simply for the fact that every month we get about a week or two of extreme co-op. And if you're curious on what extreme co-op is, it has a pretty decent shop. You know, you get some droplets, you can buy some harp, some power hearts etc etc you can buy essence scrolls as well which is really good you can buy large scrolls also very valuable all the other scrolls and then you can buy silver scrolls etc etc but then you can also buy editing brushes this is just the basic stuff like the there's like 10 brushes of each i think that you can buy or something like that so it helps but it's not the main thing you can also buy some tech slots or just link slot potions for whatever attribute it is next one is probably going to be power if i think right if i'm remembering correctly but then you can also buy some accessory tickets whoop de do but as you can see right here this says in about 12 days time is when it will reset so that means in about 12 days is when the next extreme co-op will come back and that's how you will farm your editing brushes. 99% of you, that's exactly what it is. Or if we get the Brawl quest. I think we had, had the Brawl quest last year and possibly on New Year's. Where if you ran it, it was kind of like the co-op event we have right now. But instead of potions, you could get a bunch of uh, editing brushes and so on and so forth. That was the main prize, was the editing brushes. So for veterans, it was kind of like whatever. But for newer players, it was a very valuable uh, event. So we will be getting that for the four, part four anniversary, essentially. So in about 12 days time, you'll be able to farm extreme co-op. You can easily just uh, buy out the entire shop and then you can just farm editing brushes till your heart desires. I farmed about 5,000 and on average, it took me about 1,000 to 1,200 editing brushes to max out all of my accessories for each individual one up until what I needed. Usually only went for like a few of them and obviously, the rates are not the best so if we just want to go ahead and re-roll real quick we can just show you how it's done so you'll just click however many you want i guess i will go for stamina or spiritual pressure so let's just do that and there you go and we got spiritual pressure only took us 60 re-rolls not terrible uh, i went about 250 last time so there is that and then on top of that there are a few other ways that you can do it so obviously you have guild quests. You can get guild quest brushes either by the weekly reset or every single time you beat it, there's like a little, little randomizer that you get at the end of guild quest that could definitely give you brushes. This could change in the future since they said they are revamping it. Hopefully they honestly just make it orbs and tickets. That's really all I really care for if I get this or scrolls. If they give scrolls like large scrolls or the essence scrolls, that would be a really nice change. All right, I just wanted to throw this little quick bit thing in. You can also get them from Khan's Corner. I completely forgot about it because I had no points, but hopefully we get at least, we didn't get one, no. <laughs> but you can get them from here. I, I wish I could see exactly, but if you get lucky, you can get some. So just had to throw that in there.
All right, and now realistically the final place that you can really buy them is at a few of the exchange shops along here. Uh, the Metal Exchange does not have them, Arena Metal does not have them, Senkaiman does not have them, and then I think the other ones do. I can quickly run through and double check, but I know that Chronicle Quest does have them. You can buy a few from each one of them. You can get about 10 from here, 10 from part two, 10 from part one. You can also get Brave Soul accessory tickets, these accessory tickets, and some other four and five stars. I highly recommend farming this if you do have the chance and the stamina. It is a very, very nice way to build up enough scrolls and especially the essence scrolls, which I actually have already bought out because it's like the best thing in here. Always buy those every single month. That's what I highly recommend. And then if you go to the raid, obviously there's going to be a few brushes. I don't think there's that many. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me exactly how many you can buy, but I buy all the essence scrolls, all the orbs. I buy the editing brushes. I think it's like 10 or 20 or something for the editing brushes. So not many, but as I said, it's just like a bonus. You mainly want to farm it when we get brave uh, co-op, the co-op event the extreme co-op and then you can farm editing brushes that way since it's only at 7c and higher you can get the really good one you can also buy a few from the accessory twenty exchange shop so not it's probably not that many it's probably like 10 at max or like three or something but it helps and then some of metal exchange i do not recommend this at all this is terrible this is an absolute scam it should be five five coins for like a hundred to be honest but yeah that is pretty much every single place you can actually farm editing brushes let me know down below if you have any other questions or maybe i missed an area i definitely could have all right so i checked there was nothing in the arena shop so that yeah that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know down below hopefully this helped and i hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day take care and peace out